guys, I've made it up here to Oberon. We are going on mission in 2024. So we're gonna find out some more about this trip. And I'm here um, to let you know that we are gonna bring the beautiful Penrith region and the people of IMY, and most importantly, the gospel, up on mission to Oberon in 2024. And we wanna tell you more about what we plan to do. So stick with me, it's gonna be a windy and cold one, but we're gonna have some fun and find out some more now. So come with me. Well, it is correct. The youth hall has been completed. Here I am standing outside of it. About six months ago, we shared some pictures and it was just kind of like a roof with no walls. But in a moment, I'm going to show you the inside. But what this means for uh, the church here at Oberon, uh, our awesome partner, Caleb, and his youth ministry is a place to begin uh, a new season of youth ministry. We're looking to really come and um, bless the location, but also put on a really great outreach, which is going to draw young people to hear the gospel, um, serve the church, and even inspire the church to continue in the, the work of youth ministry here. So it's very exciting, but let's go inside and meet Caleb and take a look. All right, so here's the guy. What's your name, sir? Caleb. Caleb, now you would have seen his face last year when he talked about the youth hall. Uh, what is your role here out of Oberon? I'm the youth pastor at Oberon Life Church. Fantastic. And how long have you been in this role? I've been here for about 11 months now. 11 months. Look, we're really excited to come here, IMY, and contribute mm. to, I guess, what is a, a brand new venture. But let's um, go inside and take a quick look at what's on the inside. So right now we're standing in a sort of main auditorium or main room. Um, so this is kind of a large space where we can play games, where we can hang out. The walls here are really tough, so you can kick a ball, you can smash your head, it will be fine. So this would be our quiet room. Um, so this would be an area where if things are getting a bit rowdy, you can come in and kind of have a place to chill out and um, kind of get away from some of the noise in the main room. I'm picturing many delicious meals being served up from this very area right here and hopefully being protected from any incoming projectiles through this window here. Well, look, this space is really awesome and we're really believing for many, many years of amazing impact of reaching young people. Um, mm. But, you know, Caleb, you've come here yeah. um, and you planted yourself in a new town to mm. reach young people. Um, any final thoughts on why reaching young people, um, at, by young people as well, teenagers, is so important? Well, it's because it's such a unique part of someone's life. Your identity is forming, who you are is really forming. So if we can tell a young person about Jesus, why are they still trying to learn who they are? Jesus can then tell them who they are. Awesome. Because they are a child of God, made in the image of God. And they are not called out to join the world, but to be a part of his kingdom. And so that's why I think helping young people, reaching out to young people is so important. Awesome. Yeah, so we're, we're, we see the gospel being spread in this place. And that's what you know, Caleb's talking about here, about people finding their identity in Christ and knowing who they are. Um, so praise God, praise God for an awesome church stepping out in faith and praise God that we very soon get to be a part of it in a real tangible way by coming up here. <laughs> 